What's going on YouTube? We are back with another video, man. So quick story time today. I feel like some of y'all out there could probably benefit from what I'm about to say to y'all. But I will warn you, the day that I gave this advice, I was hella young and very unserious about life. I started making jokes about every fucking thing. And usually that happens when you're like a tragic character because you've been through so much shit in your life, you just start to learn to laugh at, at shit. But let's jump right into the video. So I'm pretty sure everybody that's watching this knows somebody that you to stay in their neighborhood but they never really talked to but they rode the bus with so keep that in mind so around this time i was about 16 going to high school and everybody know in the morning you go to the bus stop everybody meet up there it was this guy in our neighborhood we never knew this nigga name but he was hella he was hella cool like it, he he wasn't no stuck up dude he was very quiet i never was friends with him but i knew who he was because he lived in the neighborhood but he was a quiet dude black dude but loved anime but also loved smoking weed so he he was cool amongst most. One day, it was this girl. I think she was new to the school. She came to the bus stop and she came several times. So I was speculating that, oh, this nigga got a girl or maybe this is his sister or some shit. The way they hung out, I was speculating that they was just siblings or maybe friends because these niggas would like bug out over episodes of like Naruto, Dragon Ball Z and, and shit like that. One day she stopped coming. Now that I said that, that shit, that shit probably plays a part in this video. Anyway, one day she stopped coming stop coming around and talking to him and shit like that and then out of nowhere i'm at the basketball court and i see her she comes up to me starts talking to me next thing i know we didn't been talking for like hours at this point about life growing up and anime out of nowhere i'm talking to her she's looking at me in the soles of my motherfucking being looking at the windows of my soul my eyes and she just stops the whole conversation and say you have very pretty eyes now me i'm weird about shit like that again i was a tragic nigga i had a lot of shit happen to me as i was growing up that's another story for another time but being that i did not know how to take compliments so i kind of drifted my eye contact away from her and i was like oh thank you i appreciate that and then she started rubbing my thigh and then she was like no look at me you don't have to be nervous that shit right there made me say yeah she proceeded to say that her parents were both at work and did i want to come back to get something to drink now mind you it was hot as fuck out there so i said hell yeah but we all know what happened one thing led to another she got broke off type shit you know what i'm talking about anyway it was like a once in in a few times encounter like i would only see her at so ever so often but when i did see her her parents was always not there and i was always breaking her off i talked to dude one day because i'm like hey this nigga at the basketball court might as well make a conversation with this nigga hey man hey your friend homegirl yo she real cool she she know her anime shit bruh you know what i'm saying like and she she real cool this nigga say you talking about my girlfriend i was like that's your girl he like, it's my ex. We broke up because I don't know what it is about some of y'all niggas. Y'all feel like y'all got to tell me y'all whole motherfucking life. I guess it's because I have a trusting persona. Stop doing that, though. I don't want to hear your whole shit. I probably shouldn't need to hear it. Anyway, he tells me about why they broke up. And he was saying, I'm just addicted to corn. And I'm like, the fuck, nigga? Why did you just tell me that about yourself? And then he said, I don't know, man. Like, I'm just, I can't get up without corn. And I don't know how to shake it. I don't know how to get rid of it. I don't know how to stop doing this shit. Here's where my unserious ass come into play and give him the best slash worst advice I could ever give a motherfucker. I asked this nigga, hey, are you a homosexual? Are you gay? He said, no, hell no. You seen my girlfriend? Oh boy, have I. I proceeded to say, so why are you stroking an eggplant? I said, yeah, nigga, that shit gay. Stop stroking your eggplant if you ain't gay. Little did I know that dumbass advice and me trying to be funny actually helped this nigga. And that's not saying nothing about people who are homosexual because I don't have a problem with none of y'all. Shit, some of my friends are homosexual. I sound like a racist white nigga. I got black friends. I got gay friends. Anyway, that's besides the point. Y'all know, no disrespect. But I was like, damn, my dumb ass whole life helped this nigga and I was just being stupid. Anyway, moral of the story is, man, leave that goddamn corn alone and get your shit together. Go to the gym. Start a YouTube channel. Do something with your life and stop fucking yourself. Literally. I'm out. That's my video for today. Peace.